Are there any effective ways to detoxify xenoestrogens from the body or to at least antagonize their effects? So if you talk to guys like Neil Rousier, they'll mention bringing up testosterone levels uh, way above to outcompete the EDCs, outcompete xenoestrogens, saturate the receptors. Uh, are there any better ways that you know of beyond that? You can buy my workout programs as well as other merchandise in my web shop. Link in the description under this video. Actually, this is a great question. I, um, and I want to respond a little bit different. There's there's a, a lot of myth on the internet about uh, hyperdominance or estrogen dominance. And I want to say this, it's not estrogen dominance, it's estrogen imbalance. Now that imbalance can be created by too much estrogen due to low progesterone, okay? Or it can be due to xenoestrogens. And for those people that are watching and don't know what, Xenoestrogens are are just foreign estrogens. Uh, for example, soy soybean has phytoestrogens, so that's a xenoestrogen. Uh, in Ohio, the most abundant xenoestrogens are actually birth control pills in the water. Is the number one contaminant of xenoestrogens. Now, how to eliminate xenoestrogen? This is a very great question, specifically for the physicians, because we don't think that. Uh, liver detoxification is a way to augment that. But actually, um, wow, this is going to be rough. Detoxification, most people think there are only two phases, phase one and phase two, which is not true. There's phase zero, one, two, and three. So it, it's a total of four phases. And most people think that only the liver does that. Every cell in the body does it. It just has the biggest concentration of cells that are just to do that are in the liver. Now, phase one is also called OAT, o -A -T, which is a type of protein that looks like a revolving door. So the toxin comes in, goes out. Now, when we have xenoestrogens, they do bind to the receptors as an estrogen, and they can turn the lock, but sometimes they do not open the door the correct way. So they might crank it a little bit open, and it got side effects. Now, I know Dave is very knowledgeable, so I'm going to explain this. I will augment those phases and I have shown to decrease actually estrogens. Now, bile also helps with this. So I'm gonna have two people here. One has a gold bladder and the other one doesn't have a gold bladder. So they're gonna have different routes out. One is easier because you have the gold bladder and estrogen is a lipid basically. And it can be dumped into the gold bladder and then dumped out into the GI. Now, a lot of people use calcium deglucorate to prevent the reabsorption of estrogen. And that works, okay? I, I'm not saying that it doesn't work. There's some research showing that it works. But for me, it's to augment phase one, phase zero, phase one, phase two, and actually phase three. Or Does phase it also three. prevent the reuptake of testosterone? Because there's a lot of talk about it affecting all it hormones. Actually binds, it, it actually binds, it's, kind of, it's, it's a good point, but people say, oh, it only binds estrogen. I don't know if that you've seen on the bodybuilding data Oh, it only binds estrogen. It actually binds anything that is kind of cholesterol lipid looking like a steroid, which testosterone is one of them. Now, um, how do I do that? Well, in some people, of course, you can measure pyroglutamate and you can check your glutathione levels. You can also measure GGT, by the way, which is the biggest death marker than any blood test out there. Insulin might be a little bit tied to it, but GGT is the biggest death marker. Let me repeat that. Gamma glutamine transferase is the biggest signal that will say if you're going to die or not, will predict that if you're going to die or not. The higher, the worse it is. Actually, you can have HIV, you can have COVID. Well, no, you don't have COVID, but you can have, you can have AIDS. And if your GGT, if your GGT is normal, they still give ins life insurance. So that tells you something. If it's high and you don't have AIDS and you don't have nothing, but you have high GGT, they will not give you life insurance. Now, I will induce increase of those aminos that will help me clean the system. Uh, most people do not know this, but glycine, the amino acid glycine is a huge cleaner. I call it the broomstick and five to 10 grams minimum. Now glycine is also used for heart attacks. So that tells you something. And I know for people that don't believe me, go check glycine and myocardial infection in the internet. And you're gonna find something in the old, on the old literature that shows how good it works. And the reason glycine works so well because it binds toxins. And actually, it will bind any xenoestrogens. Now, you need to make sure that your B6, B12, folate, riboflavin, all those are great, but also your free-form aminos. 
Now, most people will think that, oh, I'm going to eat protein shakes, and that's going to increase my free form amino. Sometimes proteins have to be digested. And some people have issues, especially as they get older, because the pH of the stomach increases instead of, instead of decreasing. And that will prevent the absorption of the breakdown of the, of the proteins. So I use high, high dosage of free form aminos, high, high dosage of glycine, actually, very high dosages. And you guys are going to ask me, it depends on the situation, but I will use 25. I also use NAC, NAC, and glutathione directly. When you say use 25, you're referring to? What? When you said for glycine, you would use 25. Grams, grams. Okay. 25 grams. Okay. Yes. I also use a supplement that I made up, but this is to bind elements or metals, but I'm assuming that it will help the person get rid of xenoestrians. And that's an assumption that is, not, I don't have a paper or, or research, although I have done um, um, urine testing, which I don't like sometimes to check things, but I don't think it works. But some people feel better, maybe is a placebo, but I highly recommend high dosage of B vitamin, high dosage of free foreign amino acids and glycine specifically by itself. I also will recommend, believe it or not, bile or ox bile. And the reason I recommend ox bile is because when the gut bladder dumps all, this, all those estrogens or phytoestrogens or molecules that look like estrogen, the bile will tend to bind those and take them away from you. So that's the way I would get rid of those uh, xenoestrogens. Now, be aware that now breast milk has xenoestrogens because all the contamination and things like that. And in those, in those women, I do absolutely put on glycine. I do absolutely put them on um, NAC. I absolutely also use glutathione directly. Uh, now, I do make sure that the B vitamins are really high. Now, I'm not going to sell you anything on this uh, live thing. Um, but I will use a spectra cell lab, which is an amazing lab that measure actually, actually measures the uh, concentration of the nutrients in the white blood cells, which I love. So that's mm -hmm. what I will do, Dave. I hope, I hope that answers your question. And by the way, optimal levels for me are not optimal levels on the blood test. And let me give you one example, Dave. For example, in United States, the normal levels for B12 are between two, 200 and 1200, okay? Well, clinically, clinically, at 500, I already see um, neuropathy due to B12 deficiency. And the research shows that already at those levels, you usually see deficiency, but I would say 80% of the people that I check that are not eating properly has those levels already. Now, I don't, I don't only look at B12 levels. I don't look at MMA either. I look at MCB. Um, I look at the RDW, I look at the uh, red blood cells to see what they're doing. And then I make the decision that person is low in B12. Uh, if you have a B12 deficiency, sometimes the fingers and the toes feeling sensations are actually different. You can get, sometimes people get more sensation or weird sensations in the fingers than the toes or the toes worse than the fingers. Uh, so be aware of that. I don't think that the levels that we use that are just levels that are supposedly normal because we check people and they say, oh, this is what we decide that is normal, okay, is going to be the right answer. Got one, it. Thing, one thing that I do make sure, and I know people are going to tell me, oh, you haven't make a big deal. Um, the spectin, I don't know if you guys are familiar with modified citrus spectin. No. Uh, have you heard of that? Okay. Modified citrus spectin, and again, I'm not making any money, works amazing. And the research shows that actually binds <laughs> xenoestrogens. It's called modified citro citrospectin. And there's a company, and I cannot remember from the top of my head, but I'll go look it up. Uh, if you guys want to wait a second, I go, go I can go get it. You want me to show you guys? It's, uh, you can get it quick, sure. Hold on. Okay. So guys, this is why I get Serrano on sometimes, because he's not just going to give me a one sentence answer. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to give you the entire answer. So uh, yeah, let's give him a Let's give him a sec. Dave, um, I hope you're watching and I hope you're uh, satisfied with uh, what he's uh, sending over. Man, there's a lot of questions coming in here. Okay, so um, here it is. Let me see if I can put on the camera. Uh, can you see it? It's a bit blurry. Move it into the camera. Yeah, okay, stop there, like that. 
Clinical Synergy Chewable Pencil C Professional. Okay, never heard of it. Okay, it's called Modified Citrus Pectin, and you guys can do a search on it, and it will come up, and it works amazing. So I hope that answers your question, Dave. I know that you want a shorter answer, but I couldn't give you one because I have to look at everything before I give you a short answer. And I know Mr. Boza was talking crap about me saying that I cannot give you a short answer. Rarely, this is a short answer. Mizumi is the number one product for acne problems on TRT. Check out the products using the link in the description under this video.